Today we're going to be talking about Naval Reserve Basic Military Qualification, Module 2. So to review, Naval Reserve Basic Military Qualification is done in three modules. Module one is online training, which is 30 to 40 hours of coursework, which can be done um, part-time or full-time on your own time, basically. Um, and you will be paid for completing the online portion of the course. Module two is what we're going to be talking about today. So I'll break that down in detail in a moment. And module three is the residential portion of the basic military qualification, which is typically done in Valcarche, Quebec, and is three weeks full time for non commissioned members and five weeks full time for officers. So for the module two, it's a total of 15 days of training, which is done at your home unit. And this can be done in one of two ways, depending on how your schedule works out. We have a full time option and a part-time option. The full-time course is typically done in the spring. It's three weeks full-time Monday to Friday 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. It is not residential. That means that you get to go home and sleep in your own home each night um, and just report during business hours. You also have the option to complete the same training on a part-time schedule following our regular training schedule. So that means one evening per week which at HMCS Chippewa is Tuesday nights is our training night from 7 to 10 15 p.m. and an average of one weekend per month which for us is Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now doing it this way typically takes about three to four months um, to complete the training. It's the same amount of hours of training if you think about three weeks full-time Monday to Friday 8 to 4 and break that down into three hour chunks once a week it takes about three to four months to complete. We typically offer this course twice per year, once in the fall from September until December, and once in the winter from January until March, April. So what are we focusing on in module two? Module two mostly consists of two parts, uh, classroom study and drill. Basically the philosophy behind it is offering the course in modules means less total time away from home doing the residential portion. So the classroom portions of basic military qualification have been taken out of the residential portion and put into the mod two schedule. So you'll be learning about military history, you'll be learning about the rank structure, you'll be learning about nuclear, biological, chemical warfare, you'll be learning about um, all kinds of things, everything military. So you do classroom portions and tests to get all of that classroom material taken care of. And you'll also be focusing on drill. So you'll learn all of the drill movements in the Canadian Armed Forces drill manual. Be out on the drill deck with your instructor, uh, learning how to march, learning all the different drill movements, both uh, without weapons and with weapons. Uh, so you will be issued weapons for drill class. However, you won't be doing weapons handling training with ammunition until you go on your mod three, the residential portion. The course will culminate with the big drill exam where you will individually be tested to show that you can uh, competently complete all of the drill movements and following successful completion of the drill exam you will be issued your cat badge which goes on your beret uh, we'll have a cat badge ceremony where well, you'll be issued your cat badge upon graduation and the cat badge signifies that you have passed the drill test which means that you'll be expected to perform drill properly um, in any type of situation. A couple of other important things that you'll be completing on your mod two is the first aid course. So you must be first aid qualified in order to attend basic military qualification. And you'll also be completing uh, harassment and inappropriate sexual behavior in the workplace course. So we'll be doing training to make sure that everybody understands all of the rules and regulations and what is expected of you 
for your career in the Canadian Armed Forces. Hello, I'm Taylor Third Class Swedenbacker. I'm an NCI op at HMCS Chippewa. Just went through Mod 2. Really excited for Mod 3. Hello, I'm the Silla Third Class Adenica. I'm an NCI op in the Navy. I'm looking forward to Mod 3 this summer. Uh, looking forward to be outside and learn more about the military. Hi, I'm Sailor Third Class Cousins from HMCS Chippewa. I am a bosun and I joined the Navy to go around and help others. Hi, my name is Sailor Third Class Fernandez. My occupation is NCI op and I'm here to improve my discipline skills. My name is Eskri Hong. My occupation is um, HRA at Chippewa. And my advice to Mod 2 recruits is uh, do your best and pay attention um, and just be adaptable. And yeah, that's my advice for new recruits. Thank you. Uh, S3, Smith Patel, uh, Bozen. Um, in Mod 2, I learned a bunch of stuff. Especially, I made new friends and new experiences. Especially, I uh, did a lot of practice. But I can't wait for Mod 3. You'll be introduced to military lifestyle, uh, how to address people of senior ranks, how to how to march, uh, and how to follow direction, meet your timings, how to maintain your uniform, how to polish your boots, iron your shirts, uh, do all the things that are expected of you. And that makes it a lot easier when you go to do the residential portion, your mod three, because you'll have that experience, you'll have that knowledge, and you'll know what to expect. So it's not quite as much shell shock uh, when you show up at module three and you're in a very uh, intense environment with high standards, uh, you'll have some practice and experience on how to uh, complete the course and knowing how to complete the course successfully and have that confidence in yourself and that knowledge uh, to be able to pass basic military qualification. So if you have any questions about the module two of Naval Reserve basic military qualification, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Start. Sir. Senator Fernandez. Senator Patel. Again, well done, everybody. Next stop, Valcarche.